Hello friend, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you what are the different ways we generally use to write the locator page, and then we'll see how much time in that particular pattern we used to uh, take to write these locators, and then you can decide which one is the best for you, and you can go from. Okay, so uh, for an example, like I have written a very simple uh, locator page for few elements, and that same we will try to write. in all these different ways and then let's see which one takes the least time so here these are the uh, locators for this particular header on selectors of website so let me just for an example this is the page and here these are the elements for which we have to write the x path and like locators page okay so let me just open this look uh, dev tools here so dev tools is open now let me just little bit zoom in and we'll see the very first ways that by writing the x path or selectors in dev tool okay so what we will have to do like we will inspect this element and we'll write the x path like that way the way we used to do in general without using any tool okay so first let me do one thing uh let me just start this uh timer here and see how much time we used to take to write the locators page for these elements okay so let's start the time inspect this element we will write the x path here in dev tools double power slash k again we'll have to inspect this element expand this product is equal to you can just let me know in the comment section that if you do this way or not copy this x path we'll go to our editor paste this x path and this is the comma paste this generally like we used to copy paste the command from our code we don't type every time i'm sure and then this is the x path for product so okay for a second we'll take this next is the element pro plan like this and here we can just simply replace this product with pro plan so we can copy this come back here again we'll have to copy this command paste it here copy this and paste it here i'm doing pretty much fast you can let me know if i'm doing any uh, partiality i'm sure like i'm doing the way we all do so let's copy and replicate this and this will be for the third element courses and here we'll take this courses and we'll change in this x path i'm not trying to write every time a new x path i'm just trying to use the same x path and just replacing wherever possible the least thing okay and then this courses here we have to use the keyword courses i'm just using the camel case then courses fourth one is practice page here we will replace the text practice page and then copy this here this practice page and here we will use this courses okay fifth sixth one fifth one is resources so resources and this time i will directly maybe i can do copy paste copy this resources paste it here and making little more fast and then last one is donate duplicate this command and copy this donate paste it here i'm assuming that I'm, i didn't verify these x path though we never we have never suggested that without verifying x path you use this Okay, so let me just stop this timer. So this process has taken us three minutes. Okay, we can just uh, reduce maybe like five, ten, fifteen second, ten, twenty second here and there. So this process has taken us three minutes of time. So let me just note it down. The first process has taken three minutes for us to write this piece of code, this locator. Okay, very good. Now let's move on to the next. uh 
set of thing that uh, what it will how much time will take in another way is by getting x path from selector so let's take the x path these x path from selector sub and try to see how much time that will take and let me just copy the uh, okay before that let's open selector sub here <coughs> and what we will do we will copy the x path from here so now let's start inspecting the element one by one and let me just start the timer here and let's start the timer and first inspect this element products copy this x path come back here paste this here also copy this paste this and copy this x path and we'll have to paste this so i'm doing the same way and copy this products here products now this is the command we'll replace co copy this complete command paste it here now inspect another element pro plans copy this x path paste it here and here we will have to use this pro plans so we will have to type this again let us copy this command paste it inspect another element courses copy this paste it here and paste this x path here so you might notice that selector sub has given in this case a little longer x path keeping two things here so that way it becomes like more robust copy this for the third one and copy this complete command page one and replace this and here we'll type practice page again and next one will inspect resources copy this and resources copy this and here and last copy this paste it here and you can replace this with and now let's see how much taken we have taken almost two minutes six seconds so we we'll can we can consider two minutes ten seconds so here you see that we have completed this process in less time than what we have taken here and though you can see that here the x path what you have got from selectors of even much more optimized so that like uh, optimized or you can say more robust in some cases if you don't want to generate with any of these like let's say classes it has been generated so you can just uncheck that class checkbox in selectors of then it will not use class as well and it will generate exactly same x path what you are writing by your text normalize the space in some cases even better than what you have with the text because uh, it will optimize your space as well like trim the space if there is a junk space and get you better now let's move on to the next way of writing the x path in selector before that we'll use like let's save this time it has taken let's say 2 minute 10 seconds so the second method has taken this much now let's see the third one by using command feature of selector how much time it will take if we use the command feature so here we have this command feature like if you click on this now select the command here whichever command method you want to generate and now, now let us in start inspecting the elements here first one products copy this come back here okay before that sorry let me just start the timer here or maybe reset reset and start it here come back here so the first one is this copy this it here second pro plan copy paste it here third copy inspect copy paste it here fourth inspect 
inspect copy and paste it here so you see that we have done oh, okay let me just time so we have completed this process within a minute just in like let's say 46 seconds 46 seconds it could be like 50 50 seconds so it is even much faster let me just note down this time as well this third process third way has just taken 46 seconds i hope now you are enjoying this now let us see the fourth one so this is this has taken 46 seconds i'm just considering if somebody will be doing for the first time 50 seconds okay now if you go back and here uh, in place of let's say you don't want with class because it is considering class in that case you can just uncheck this for a second now it will not change okay here let's move on to the next one by using multi selectors feature of selectors so let's see with this way how much time it will take to generate locators page for these elements so here is the multi selector generation feature click on this let the command be on here and start inspecting these elements so before that let me just start the timer here like this start the timer and you start inspecting these elements one by one and you see how much and simply copy this come back all the six commands are ready and we can now it has just taken 24 seconds someone might be uh, like doing for the first time it might take little more so let's say it can take 30 seconds so this will this process this way it will just take 30 seconds imagine if you are doing for 100 elements how much less time it will now let's see the last one which is amazing and just like will make you crazy by using selector sub pro so let's see how much time we will take with selector sub pro so here it is so what you have to do here this is the code thing and this is form page like if you want to generate and let me just start the timer for this one as well reset and start so here we have this inspect feature select this and you just click 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 and copy come back here and paste it just 15 second it has taken with selector sub pro to generate the same locator page watch what we have been doing like with this feature it has taken 30 second this this and when we were doing manually with the dev tools it was taking three minutes of time now compare how much time it has taken with selector sub so this is the power and this is the amazing like how much time you can save just by using selector sub pro own inspector feature using the uh, multi selectors a way to generate the selectors for multiple elements in one go Three minutes, two minutes, ten second, fifty second, thirty second, just fifteen. Isn't it amazing? And how much time you imagine? Like how much time you can save when you are generating locators page for multi element. So this is Selectors of Pro and all the features of Selectors, the free version and the pro version. Pro version is very very cheap. I will highly recommend that all of you to take a free trial of it and just you will just love it. There are so many amazing not just this selectors healing feature is also there which is pretty much awesome so give give it a try and you will definitely and let us know which way you are doing right now and which is the one which you learn new today thank you thank you so much